Hello viewers, welcome to Ajade Math Class. If this is your first time of watching my video, I say a very big thank you to you and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and to my returning viewers, thank you very much. Now today we'll be solving this equation and here we are simplifying for the value of what? Of x. Now doing this, let's solve the right hand side first, okay? We all know that this is a mixed fra fraction, so changing a mixed fraction to an improper fraction will be 3 times 1, 3 plus 2, we have 5 over 3 raised to power minus 1. So that's what we have. And also, what we talk about reciprocal, a raised to power minus 1 is the same thing as 1 all over a. Okay, so that shows that this is the same thing as finding the reciprocal of the value in the bracket, which is also equals to 3 over 5. So, equating it to the left hand side, which is the square root of 1 minus s raised to power 3 over 100. Now, solving both sides, there's a way for us to eliminate the square root sign, and the only way is to what? Square both sides. So squaring both sides, the square, we cancel out the square root. So at the left hand side, we can have 1 minus s raised to power 3 over 100. Equal, 3 square gives 9, 5 square gives 25. Now, solving further, we can um, make the subject of the formula by moving it to the right hand side. We are going to have s raised to power 3 over 100 equal 1 minus 9 over 25. So, doing LCM, we have the lowest common multiple to be 25. 1 in 25 is 25 multiplied by 1, we have 25. 25 in 25 is 1 multiplied by 9, we have... 25 in 25 is 1 multiplied by 9, we have 9. So with this, we are going to have s raised to power 3 over 100 equal 25 minus 9 gives 16 over 25. So with this, we are cross multiplying. So with this, we have 25 times s raised to power 3 equals 16 times 100. So with this, we have 25 s raised to power 3 equals 1,600. Dividing both sides by the coefficient of s cube, which is 25, which is 25. So with this, we have that our s cube equals 1,600 over 25 gives 64. So with this, to get the value of our x, just keep roots both sides. Keep roots both sides. Okay? So keep root of this gives x, and keep root of 64 gives 4. So this is our answer. Thank you very much, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next video. Thank you.